I told you I was going to do this review. I'm so excited for it. Today I'm going to review the brand new KVD Beauty Good Apple Lightweight Full Coverage Concealer. So if you want to see my thoughts, then just keep watching. So last year, this foundation from KVD was super duper viral. The Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. I personally was a fan of it. I really, really enjoyed it. The trick with this was less is more. If you used less product and didn't overload your face, I thought it was a beautiful, beautiful product. This foundation in of itself revived the brand KVD Beauty for sure. So I was really excited to see what they could do with a concealer version of this. So this has launched everywhere that you can find KVD Beauty right now. And let's Take a look at it. It's going to be $28, which is a decent price for KVD Beauty. I'm looking at the color range here, spectacular. Tons of shades and the range looks fabulous. I personally picked up the shade medium 126. I won't be pairing the concealer today with the Good Apple Foundation because this shade is too light for me. I'm pretty sure the concealer is darker than the foundation. I picked up light 015 and I was so off when I picked this up. I'm wearing the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation foundation since I've been using this a lot so I really know how it works. But yeah, that's why I'm not pairing it with this because this is just an odd color if I paired it with this concealer. This is 0.33 ounces or 10 milliliters of product. The coverage is supposed to be full with a natural finish. It's supposed to be extremely long wearing, crease resistant, and it's supposed to have the same hydrating lightweight full coverage as the Good Apple Foundation. And that's what I liked about this. I feel like it was really hydrating on my skin but it still gave a really good amount of coverage and felt lightweight. So hopefully that's what this concealer does as well. Here is the box that it's going to come in. Let's see, six month shelf life here. And the product itself is made in the USA and KVD is vegan. I'm gonna try and get close up. If you need to take a look at the ingredients or anything, here it is for you to pause for your convenience. Here is what the component itself is going to look like. It is plastic. I almost feel like I want to pull it out like a dropper, uh, but that's not how it works. And here is what the applicator looks like. I know a lot of you said you were very interested in the applicator. It's supposed to mimic, I believe, like a fingertip, basically. I mean, to me, a doe foot is a doe foot. I, it does allow you to get in the crevices, I suppose, but so does a normal doe foot. But anyways, a lot of you guys were excited about this applicator. So let's do one size first. So as you can see, I have a little bit of purple and cool tones running underneath my eyes, especially in this area right here. So we're gonna focus some product here and then a little bit out here. I know this is the trendy way to do concealer, so we'll do it that way. And I also wanna get it down my nose like so, or we're gonna highlight some areas of my face. And then I also wanna see what it does if I put it over my pores. I'm going to use a Shop Miss A sponge. I would say this made my pores look a little nicer, right? It definitely looks hydrating in this area. Okay, let's, let's see how it spreads underneath the eye. It's not the most malleable concealer to spread. There's some concealers that I own that I feel like would just whoosh, just like that. Not saying this is hard to spread, it's not, but it does lean a little bit thicker than some other concealers that I have. Don't ever, ever forget to apply concealer in this area because that's where a lot of people harbor so much of their darkness. Wow, that looks really fresh, right? And it definitely looks pretty hydrating. We will see how it sets, but let's blend it out in the other areas. This concealer has been sitting on my face, but I don't notice it being difficult to blend out because of that reason. So it doesn't seem to like dry down super fast or anything. So what do we think? I think that that looks pretty nice. Let's do another coat. I'm gonna apply it the way that I normally apply it, which is about this much, just to see. So this is a little bit more product and we'll see if that affects the wear time. This is a great color for me, by the way. So if you're around my skin tone, medium 126 looks really good. Then let's put just a wee bit right in this area where my pores tend to be the most visible. I love when a concealer, not that it's their job, but I love when a concealer can smooth out this area of my face. 
because I feel like it's a bonus because you know how sometimes foundations make that area look not good if the concealer can save the day great I think that looks super good. What do you guys think? I think it looks hydrating. I wouldn't call it a full coverage, but it's definitely in between medium and full for sure. I want to keep the layers thin because that's how you should act with concealers. But all in all, it looks really good. Wish it was just a little bit more easy to spread, a little bit more malleable. But other than that, it looks really good. Has that natural finish that it talks about, but doesn't quite reach full coverage. We're going to set now with a powder that I'm very comfortable with. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in Fair Light. It's amazing. I'm going to use a Wayne Goss number two brush. And I'm not gonna set with too much powder. This for every day is how I normally set my face. So I'm just gonna lightly set the T zone and underneath my eyes. Turn the lights down so you can really see. What do we think? I think it looks really nice. The only thing that I'm noticing is it does look a little bit creepy immediately underneath my eyes. A bit on the dry side, but it's really not that bad. I mean, those wrinkles are there. <laughs> That's what it is, you know? But so far, I'm liking how it looks. I am going to finish the rest of my makeup, and then we'll see how it looks after sitting for about 45 minutes or so. All right, guys, makeup is done. Here is how the concealer is looking. So I have to say, I did notice as the concealer settled in, I did get a little bit dry and, like, right around my lash line area, which, I mean, it happens. Those are where the most fine lines of fine lines are really but I wouldn't call this a hydrating concealer because I have some that don't do that however it's not at a bad point right now we look okay I'm pretty content with this um, and I can definitely see all of the areas that I put the concealer because it does have I feel like more of a smooth finish so so far everything is looking good I want to definitely do a wear test of this but I do like it so far I don't love it but I like it as far as the coverage I think it's whole up pretty well. In certain lights, if I turn my head, I can see a little bit of my darkness peeking through, but nothing too crazy. I'm not too picky about that. But so far, it looks pretty good, and it's holding its own coverage-wise, I would say. So I'm gonna keep you guys updated in a few hours, and we'll see how she's looking. Okay, guys. So I figured I'd finish this video off with a quick wear time update. It's about nine o'clock, so I've been wearing this concealer for like nine, almost ten hours. Really long wear test today. Let's get nice and personal. It's really not that bad. It looks pretty good all things considered. I must have itched my nose right here but it looks a wee bit crusty around here but this is where I always get crusty. This is where the nose thing happens. Um okay so my under eyes did look like slightly dry today. Slightly slightly. Nothing bad but this isn't the best concealer that I have. It's not the most hydrating. It definitely leaves me looking a little creepy if you see right underneath my eyelashes. However, it's certainly not the worst concealer that I have. It, I would say it's on the upper end of how concealers perform in my collection. Nothing amazing. My socks are not knocked off. I don't think you need to run to the store or fight off people to pick up this concealer, but I do like it. Do I think that it has similar characteristics of the Good Apple? I think it's a bit more dry, personally, but it's pretty, pretty good. I don't think it's gonna be worth going viral for, other than the name, really, but it's a solid, performing concealer. I'm not mad at it. So I think if you have a lot of fine lines and that's something that really bothers you, you could probably skip on this concealer. But I can see a lot of people definitely loving it. So I'm going to end the video here. I'm ready to take my makeup off for the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and you found it helpful. If you picked up this concealer, let me know your skin type, all of that, and how this wore on you so that we can chat about it in the comments and help each other out. And thank you guys so much for being subscribed to my channel and liking this video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.